What was the? What do I need for the spell sword? Because I got a routine on that, but I don't know. You're at six. Yeah. You don't need a routine. Routines don't count. To go from six to seven, you need three difficult and two challenging. God, it's so easy. Two. My sources. So that's why it's better to start with kind of lower, lower skills, so that you actually have some advancements. Oh yeah, yeah. And only have like one or two that are higher than five. Because those skills aren't going to advance very well. Yeah, we need to talk very fast. Oh, I think we need. Oh, to these are skills and these are stats. I understand. Yep. Never routine for stats. Correct. Wow. Oh, you mean like oral reading? Yes. Oh, not oral. Oral. Does it ever stop? Shut up and never mind. Stop in the mouth. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> He's proud of himself. I mean, generally when they can't speak afterwards. Full disclosure. I can't disagree with that. I'm sorry. I may or may not at one point have petitioned for a new artisan read in the council. Please do go on. Did it work? No. Suffice it to say. What was it exactly? Not making it up. Publicly. Well. This is part of their problem. They couldn't wrap their minds around the fact that there wouldn't be exhibitions. I told them there could be. They seem to think that, that was not on the table. I mean, it has Isn't that called an orgy? <laughs> not that time. <laughs> no, the counselors hate each other, and you can't actually get them to sleep together in the same way. Well, I mean, you could technically, but... I... You can't get them to willingly sleep together in the same way. No, I'm not saying that. It's a different story at the college. You can't get them to stop oh. sleeping together. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody at the table, collective silence. Do tell. We're, 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 we have magic. Things are weird. <laughs> Who wants to know what it's like to have sex when you're transformed into another creature? I do! <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. How do you think that small centaur population was created? That there explains no nope. so much. Not here. Not anymore. here. Anymore. <laughs> anymore. 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 So what you're telling me is that I need to get into the college. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard for me. It's a cakewalk. <laughs> Getting to the right rooms in the college, that's a challenge. Is it really though? Yes. They're very cagey. Uh, the oh, senior students right regularly rally. trap the place with pranks. The local spirits do have done whatever the hell they wanted since the headmaster disappeared. Uh, no, there's a replacement headmaster replacement. for the last 18 years. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but most don't listen to that one. They don't. Kind of. No, it's been 18 years. Yeah. He's a, he's an he's an established headmaster at this point. In the beginning, it was bad. <laughs> he has been a headmaster for more than yeah. one life path of being a headmaster. Because yeah. it's twelve years. Yeah, it is mm. twelve years. That's dedication. At first, no. <laughs> no one fucking listened to him at first. But certainly, you know that. <laughs> oh no, I'm definitely allergic. That's for the investigation. Did you come into the room now? Yeah. Oh, good. There you are. <coughs> I'll send a messenger to arrange for you to speak to the council of wise. It might be a wise idea to see where their stories differ from the records we received. Okay. If you want to accompany the two of them to go take readings on the sites. That might be the best for Thank you. So, the Prince and Amenius are going to basically head to the council for the day. Mm -hmm. And I no, no such Prince. thing about me going with him. <laughs> okay, so the Prince is going to go speak to the council. The Exorcist and the Mage, protected by the Knight, oh. are going to go around the city and do readings. Yeah, we have a packet of 
markings, right? So they, yeah. those markings are somewhere. Do you? So. Do you? Are you sure? We all got handed packets. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. It's hard to see a lot of copies under this one. <laughs> Told you not to touch me. Damn it. <laughs> fine, fine. You all got copies. Legitimate. I just, I did some warning. It gets antsy. No. <laughs> I that. You're also lucky that there's no enchanter present, because that could be dangerous. <laughs> oh, I'm an enchantment oh five. <laughs> <laughs> things can be really dangerous with me. And five. Excellent. God, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you did mention that. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do the exorcist, knight, and mage. First, and then we'll do the, the council, and then whatever Menius is doing. Are you just lounging? Mm -hmm. Okay. I had a wonderfully smart and entertaining scene. I'm going to see the spotlight so that the characters can do stuff. All right. So, uh, you have a list of places uh, in which materials have gone missing. Most of them are in the artisan district. There's a right to change my mind in case I forget something. Um, the art again. The artisan district is full of workshops. Workshops slash medieval version of factories. I just I get this sneaking suspicion that the spirit just has a noise complaint that hasn't been heard. <laughs> Distinct possibility. This is a possibility. Um. So at, at this point, um, this is definitely a point where this this is character driven. Yeah. The, the characters need to tell me what they're doing, where they want to go, and I will tell you what you find and what you encounter. Uh, I'm not going to just pick yeah. you up and move you around. This so isn't sense. It is. It is your scene. You, How many, after talking with the group, you know what your objective objective for the day is at least. Uh, how many have to do it. different scenes in total was there in the packet that we were given? Symbols, I think. Well, uh, I meant like symbols, so. yes, but they're Look, there were five symbols. Five symbols. Five, symbols. five distinct symbols that that shape showed up, and there are ten places that have been hit so far. How far away are they? Are they all in that? Uh, See. Five symbols, mm. ten locations, eight are in the uh, artisan district. One in the uh, market district, and one on the pier. Or wait, no, it's the city of rivers. Yeah, there's a pier. Yeah, because there's one large river that comes up from the sea. And so ships can actually come into that pier okay. for trade and go back out. Okay, uh, I do have something. I suggest the first course of action is to purchase a map. That's probably okay. a better idea. Yeah. Uh, what is your resource? You could just trust one. me. One? It yeah. is an obstacle, one test. Okay. Uh, so, don't forget, you can loan out. So you can give other people your cash on hand. It's how, generally, how people get enough tests to raise their resources. No, nope. if you uh, if you make the test, you will earn a. You can choose whether it's uh, routine or difficult for advancement. Um, is that the weird thing about resources? Resources is a stack. Oh yeah. Okay. But no, that's a thing about exponent one. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I'm sorry. It will just count as a difficult because you don't need routine tests yeah. for resources, and then you just need to make a challenging test after that to raise your resources to. Okay. So difficulty one, you have one dice. Okay. So, uh, anyone else helping me? Or? No. I'll just. Rolling this 
Rolling this die now. 50 50. Nope. That is a whole good yes. success. Okay. You have what you need on you. You are able to purchase some map. Uh, you have one difficult. Uh, uh, resources is the only one you may not fork skills into. Yeah. Other people can help. Uh, you only you if you fail a, a resource test, you you actually get ta uh, taxed. So I have the city map of lyrics. Yes. Um, in the notes, you find out that the pier was the first place hit, the market district was the second place hit, and then after that, all the rest were in the artist district. This is partly why I did the map thing. And so, pier to market to artisan district. And this all goes basically from the pier in the south, yep. up north, for the most part, close to the main river that the pier is actually on. Like, this place is kind of like Venice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hypothesis moving forward. You could have come with some. Yeah, it was, no. might be locked to an object that was traded and is now located in the city. Uh, What's that no, really unwanted? That's only a light and unproven hypothesis. There's no evidence yet. Uh, figure out where it's coming uh, from and where it's going. What perception of skills do you have? It's clearly forming a trail of some perception. Yep. Although I'm still going with noise complaint. Well, we have a job for the other two. <laughs> since I don't have actually since we don't have perception skills. Uh, so, yes. hopefully they, they keep records uh, of who comes into the pier. Yes, this will be about a month ago now. Uh, for tax purposes, they should keep it at least at home. <coughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um, while they're talking, you notice a small urchin um, that seems to be eyeing them and is slowly making uh, his way closer to the master sorcerer. You're at the It was the best. It was perfect how you see it. There's an urchin sneaking towards the master sorcerer. The both of you can also roll me your perceptions real quick. Okay. What? Uh, perception. perception. Uh, it's a stat. Yes, it is. Attribute. Attribute. Oh, it is an attribute. <laughs> I was looking for it in skills. Attribute. Uh, I don't think I... Wait, hang on. You didn't read it. Okay. Okay. Other side. Where no. That I'm the reading. <laughs> it's in the uh, box on the other side. Perception. It's in the box on the other side of the sheet. Yeah. It's in four. B. Wait, what? Perception. Oh my god. Oh god. Do not stay up until 2 a.m. on the internet. It will fuck up your eyes and your brain will... I don't... I don't mean that, kids. It's fine. It's... What are you talking about? The next two hours after that are really fun. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Depends on where you're going. Yeah, I see you on it, like, all the time. No, We were both up that late. Like, we were in the morning, like... Uh -huh. Alright. Oh, I was. I told you I was a drunk philosopher last night. <laughs> you I, were. I cleared out like half a bottle of that shit. It's gone, and I totally was supposed to get more today, but then I forgot. Anyway, my perception is six. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Yeah, roll now. My perception is. What was the obstacle? Two. Oh my god. <laughs> Two. You make it. Yeah. Wait. Um, if that counts as a. What's your perception? Six. It's six. six. Okay. So <laughs> don't you're, you're not a difficult. <laughs> no. Sorry. My perception is. Okay, four. Can we sneak up on a major character? Four. Would have perception. No, that would, no. No, that's routine. That's a routine. It doesn't help you. Um, so the knight does notice it first because it's while you two are talking. 
And as you come to the the small break in the conversation, you both look over to the knight. Notice the knight is not looking at either of you two. Look and see the knight is watching an urchin that's kind of going like this and is making his way towards the master sorcerer. And as he's coming, you spot that he pick, bumps into and lifts a small coin purse off of at least one person on his way over. Do I notice that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The urchin does not seem to notice that you have noticed him yet. If you wish to be inconspicuous to the urchin, you may roll inconspicuous. Yes, yes, I will. Okay. So you're going to roll. Is this, is this the one or. Well, no, because I didn't succeed. All right. So you are going to try to. So basically, when you use a skill. I don't even have that one, though, so I'm not. I know. Yeah, when you use a skill that you don't have, that's what learning a new skill is. That's what <laughs> unlocking a new skill is. So instead of rolling the skill, you roll your attribute that is that it's rooted in. Um, what do you know? When you get yeah. uh, will. However, nah. it's there. <clears throat> excuse me. The obstacle is doubled when you're using an attribute instead of a skill. The mind and conspicuous is tested against observation. The urchin rolled a one on his stealth, which is why the perception. Mm. Is wow. Is <laughs> uh, doesn't that mean that they could technically use that roll for either perception or opening observation? Yes. Okay. So, if anybody would like to open observe, if any of the three of you would like to use that to start opening observation. I already have observation. Oh, then you could have rolled your observation. So would you like to count that as a test towards your observation? Yes, yes, I would. Go ahead. Sorry, I totally forgot about what that. What is your observation? My observation is four. Four? Routine. So that's a routine test for your observation. Oh, no, Do you yeah, have an obstacle one? No. Yeah. Okay, would you like to unlock observation? Would you like to start unlocking observation? observation. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, observation. So in the learning, in the learning, uh, skills, skills being, learned. being learned, right, observation. Um, the big circle, hold on, let me see, let me make sure I'm doing this right. So the big cir circle is aptitude. Uh, do, 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 do. There's a formula for aptitude. Yeah, it's 10 mm -hmm. minus the stat. 10 minus, so what is your will? Uh, my will, and conspicuous as well, observations, perception. Perception, sorry. My perception? Yeah. Uh, four. Four, so your aptitude is six. And mark off one uh, one test. Okay. Let me see this for a second. And and when you're doing when you're be doing skills being learned, the tests don't matter if they are routine, difficult, or or challenging. It don't matter. You just need six tests to actually unlock observation, and then you unlock it at the root of. Will yeah. or perception or observation. Okay. Um, also, you can see that you're given the spot up here that you can actually write down your your aptitudes for perception, will, agility, all of it. Okay. Cool. So you don't have to calculate. So I roll the aptitude. No. Oh. That's how many. That's how many times you have okay. to test it before it unlocks. You roll oh, will. We already. So next up. Perception. So next to it, um, I usually put P-E-R in parentheses next to it so I remember which one it is. Uh, because you're going to roll perception for it. Anytime. So inconspicuous is will? Yes. Um, so anybody who would like to be inconspicuous, roll their will. And it is opposed by what? Perception? Observation. Observation, which the urchin doesn't have, so it will... So, raise your hand if you have inconspicuous. You have inconspicuous. No, I have conspicuous. Oh, you have conspicuous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Would you like to be conspicuous? Go ahead and rob the, uh, rob the knight. That'll work out so well. I'm totally going to actually, like, what I want to do is, like, walk up behind him and grab him by so the you, collar. Yeah, so you want to be inconspicuous so you can get the drop on. Yeah. Was it you okay. who had the punishment yeah, belief? Yeah. So oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. 
So right. roll your will for your inconspicuous. Uh, because it's opposed by observation, and the urchin does not have observation, because he's a very young urchin. Oh, okay. It'll be um, he's like 14, 15. He's a baby. Um, he's not very well skilled yet. Um, I, we're not going to bother with the double obstacle thing, because it's double obstacle for his observation and your inconspicuous, which is no different than if it's not double. So we're just going to right off the count of the dice. So... You're not being conspicuous? No. No. So he, he sees that you see him then? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Which means the uh, he will start going for a different target. I did want to... He uh, doesn't notice the two of you tied him. Since I noticed, I noticed him target me, right? Mm -hmm. Then instinct for aura reading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll me your aura reading. What are you after? Uh, traits. Traits. Uh, character traits or die traits? Or call on trait? I'm looking for or on traits. Gifted as a die trait, so I'm just doing a casual. So you want to see if he's gifted? Yes. Okay. So obstacle four. Okay. Rolling my die. This will actually be challenging. Yeah. I'm not throwing anything else in there. Do we? B, would you like to do an aura reading on the urchin? What would you like to get out of them? Uh, or reading the sorceress. So, or reading is sorceress, so it is open ended. Uh, I still got three. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, you see the aura, but yeah. you don't get a clear enough shot. Mm, I'll try and see his traits. So are you going to see if he's gifted as well? Yeah. Or are you looking for a character trait? Mm. Character traits are obstacle three. Uh, call on mm. and die traits are obstacle four. Gifted is a die trait. So it's faithful. So it's faithful. But I do get a challenging. Fuck it, let's see if he's gifted. My brain hurts. Okay. <laughs> if you get any sixes, you get to roll another dice. Okay. Three? Uh, same thing, um, you're not able to get a clear enough shot to actually see whether or not he's gifted. Okay. But you still get, what was your aura reading, five? Uh, yeah. And that's obstacle four, so that's actually, that is a challenging <coughs> test for your uh, aura reading. Backwards. Backwards. What? Aura reading is five? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. five, five dice. On obstacle four yeah. is a challenging test. A challenging test or difficult test? Challenge. Wait. Difficult. Difficult. No. Sorry. That's our confusion. Sorry. Difficult test. Which you she needs uh, B needs three difficult and one challenging test to advance her aura reading. You can do it. I can. I believe. I have beliefs they are in you. I have faith yeah. in something. All right. um, so you have a map of the city. The urchin has veered off about 10 feet out. He, he doesn't see the two of you have noticed, but the master sorcerer is not being conspicuous and stares the urchin down. <laughs> like, really, bro? <laughs> and the urchin goes, and starts going for a new target. Uh, I clearly don't need to be here. I gotta go by. That's a tickle. Totally going to like walk up behind the urchin and grab him by the collar. Oh, there he goes. And say, "What do you think you're doing?" Okay, so you want to get the urchin. The urchin wants to get away. This is gonna be basically be a bloody one-off. Your intention is to basically capture the urchin. His intention is to escape. So what skill do you have that you want to propose using to capture the You're missing out on entertainment. Hmm? You're missing out on entertainment. Yeah. 
Oh, God. Dark pain is hilarious. Skill to capture the urchin. Urchin? Like, brawl for, like, effectively grappling. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So you're going to roll your brawl, and the urchin... I'm trying to... Bebs. 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 It's a uh, young Tykin. I don't know who that is. Uh, Korean artist. I don't know who that is. He made um. Yeah, it was like the name even sounds familiar. Magna Carta. Oh. Um, Blade and Soul. I think I've heard of Magna Carta. You should have heard of Blade of Soul. Blade of Soul is a really popular uh, MMO, Korean MMO. All Except right. he quit. Yeah. He no longer works there. And in Seasaw. So, I mean, like. It's really good. Combo based. Oops. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all combo based in boobs and ass? Basically, yeah. I loved that game for a while I played it, but like, okay. yeah, they caught up way too quickly because. It was like new Go ahead and roll. release for this. This is a roll off, which means the obstacles. We need to grind out dungeons. Whoever and rolls higher. Were 10 dungeons uh, I've seen this. And it's expensive. Yeah. Oily. It's good. Okay. <laughs> so, so, how many dice were you rolling? I did. That was an obstacle one, so it's a routine test, and you don't need to do yeah, it. Yeah, so harder than that. That's the one thing, too, is once the skill is high enough, routine tests you don't have to worry about. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. So the knight slinks around yep. inconspicuously <laughs> somehow as, as the master sorcerer <laughs> stares at. Well, you yeah. in your armor or not? Uh, yeah. Okay, because you're on duty. Yeah. Yeah. His inconspicuous armor, <laughs> clinkety clink. He's just walking nose. around. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna grab you. And next thing you know, the knight has the urchin by the scruff of the neck and shirt, and has lifted him up and is. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I, I'm just walking the artisan district. Yeah, and taking people's money. What? No, no, I would never do that. No. Intimidation. Mm-hmm. Totally doing intimidation now. <laughs> because. Oh. Also, <laughs> okay. Good uh, job, Jeff. Yeah. So you're gonna try to intimidate him into admitting his crime, and he's going to try to use begging. Uh, for pity and to be let off, even possibly with a coin, mm -hmm. because you take pity on him and his dire needs. Now I'm going to this start kid. drawing attention to myself with conspicuousness. Oh, no. To draw <laughs> cards. Over. Roll your intimidation. Go. Intimidation. Okay. First off, see if you get Great. swindled Great. by this urchin or not. Yes, I love this urchin. <laughs> Are you sure he's not yours? I would go against you. There's a way for me to do that right now. Three. The knight gets swindled. <laughs> Obviously, he's not committing crimes. This poor boy is so <clears throat> has no parents, no one to take care of him, no home. He has to do what he has to do to survive. And if he had a way of surviving <clears throat> in another way, he would. And your heart just bleeds. Oh my god. So and you give the poor boy a coin and tell him to use it to feed himself wow. and then go ask for work to earn a living. Now you're putting words in my mouth right now. Oh, it could be worse. There are words no, in my mouth. No, at least there are What I do is like, don't let me catch you do it again. If you need any help and whatnot, or want to learn a trade, let me know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. Don't let me catch you again. You won't. <laughs> Shut up. This golf club from a balcony. Clearly they're unrelated. That counts as a challenging test towards your intimidation, by the way. Yes. Clearly they're unrelated. Because the obstacle was three, and what is your check what is your intimidation? Two. That was a challenging test. <laughs> yeah. I rolled one. Yay! Yes! Yay! <laughs> All right. Oh, now that that's over with, wow. uh, I that want my happened. second sight prominently up, so to look for 
auras that are uncommon. The urge. <laughs> no, no, I got no. it. I saw it. Yeah. From what you could see of the urge, it looked like a typical aura. Um, so, particularly you... looking at items at this point. Okay. Um, We're in the artisan district now, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the artisan district is is yeah. really close to where the estate was, so it's where you went to buy a map. Yeah. Let's say, do we want to go to the pier first or stick around here? The latest happenings were around the artisan district, right? Mm -hmm. According to our timeline. So, we don't want to start here until we run out of. My idea was is that we got a map of the city. We also saw the pattern, and that it came from the pier, went into the market. And is now in the artisan district. And, and within the artisan, artisan district, it's still moving north. And it's still moving north, okay. So it's we have that pattern laid out. The if we run out of leads within the artisan district or don't find anything, my thought was to look for a shipping manifest uh, about a month ago for cargoes coming in on the river and then to start looking for who bought and sold particular items and then go from there to track down an item. Going on the hypothesis that this spirit is locked to an item or came on a ship a month ago. Real quick stupid mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Has our list been updated <laughs> since we arrived? Not a psychopath. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Good point. Mm -hmm. Well so that was my point, by the way. <laughs> I know. If you want to add common sense into this yes. guy who's never really left the capital. Yeah. Um, so right now we're working off of data that's like a week old. Two weeks old. Two weeks old, Two weeks old now. A week to get there. Uh, a week yeah. for you to get there. Yeah. Uh, we, we should probably actually get an update real quick from some guards. I thought that's what the that. prince was doing. Is so that what I'm doing? I forgot. You're going to the council, so let's go ahead okay. and segue okay. to the council. Because we thought that's what really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm holding it the entire time, you asshole. So, you arrive to the council, and you get let into the chambers, and there's a council of six individuals sitting around a hat, uh, a crescent moon shaped table. The opening, the 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 points, uh, the crescent moon is like this, facing the large room, and they're seated on the other side of it. Um, and there really is no one else in the chamber, but there are seats. And there's one seat in the middle of the crescent moon uh, for whoever's addressing the council. And they, they rise as you enter and they go, Ah, Prince, please, come. We were expecting you. What can the Council of Artisans do for you? My letters. Your eminent, or your, wait, what is the term? Eminent. Yeah, Grace. your eminent. Grace. Oh, Grace. Grace. Sorry. 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 What can we do for you, your Grace? Um, what was I here to do? It's been well, a while. I'm here to verify their reports against the data that we already had. Mm. So okay. you're here to see if there's any discrepancies between <clears throat> what they reported to the crown and what they're gonna say to you right from your face. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. admittedly, now that the other players have brought up the possibility of new data, then that yeah. would be something. I that imagine you might your make notes on. Yeah. Experienced character would also think for that. So. Yes. Because that I'm is sure an mechanism of you are modern sensibilities and instantaneous communication. Not necessarily an anachronism that our characters would consider. And have tactics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, I sit and speak with everybody. Um, they sit after you sit. Okay. <clears throat> Most of the council are nobles, not like. One of them is not a noble. Mm. They're just a very well respected artisan. Mm. Um, the other five are nobles, um, but they're not high up nobles. Okay. Minor nobility. Yeah, they are oh, lords and yeah. <coughs> This is why I had to um, Since the two weeks that have passed before 
word has been sent from here about the incident. Incident. Um, what has changed? Uh, there, there were six more disappearances that have occurred since we sent word to the capital. Uh, we actually have a uh, one of them kind of snaps and uh, a completely inconspicuous servant that you didn't even notice was there blended into the background, <laughs> jumps out of nowhere with a packet of paperwork, runs up to the side of you. Thank you. And runs back and seemingly disappears, but you know he didn't leave the room. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> really? <laughs> good sir, which is good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and in the packet is, is uh, updated information. Okay. Um, it has uh, six more places, uh, four of which are in the artisan district, and two of which are in the, uh, the minor nobility residential district. So it's moving further inward? Uh, if metadata, like you're not going to necessarily be able to do this until you other you. No, you, you don't have the information to know where, you, like, you don't know where those districts are. Oh, okay, okay. In correlation to each other. Okay. Like you don't have a map of the city on right. you. There's not a map of the city like laid out and labeled. Uh, okay. Um, regional map. Um, the party has the information needed to correlate that, but yeah. they're not with you. Okay. Um, okay. The symbols. Um, were there any new symbol sketches? It's the same five symbols repeated. Each oh. site, each one has one symbol appear. After the fifth one, it started repeating. Now that we've gone beyond ten, it went one through five, one through five, one through five, same order each time. Okay. <clears throat> the same type of items taken? There were nails, uh, Nails, uh, wood, uh, carving tools, tiles, uh, one very large, pristine piece of driftwood, which was going to be used to carve a new bench for the city. Uh, very sad about the loss of that one. <laughs> it would be. Uh, <laughs> Nothing of significant res of significant value was taken, though, uh, and nothing that was already being worked on. Only raw materials have been taken, and it skipped over a uh, jewelry store or a, a, an artisan of jewelry and fine uh, fine gems. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of material in there that's of high value, and it was untouched. Speaking from the character's knowledge of these types of things, uh, he would know that valuable things to us aren't the same as whatever. You we're have uh, demonology. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that—that's pretty common. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Human value does not equate spirit value. Right. Okay. Not always. So it needs some useful do. things. Some, some like it very like spirit value changes drastically from yeah. type of spirit to type of spirit. So there's a good section of spirits where, yeah, what's value to, valuable to humans is valuable to these spirits. Obviously, this is one that it, that's not the case. Could still be a spirit. Well, yeah. I mean, you're you're, you're looking at a type of spirit, whether it's a, a yeah. spirit, demon, or angel, you don't know. Right, okay. Okay. Um, please keep a lookout, and if anything else should arise, let us know immediately. Where are you staying? Um, the Kyfax. I was going to say Carthus. Kyfax. Kyfax. You weren't far off. <laughs> no, the Kyfax. The Kyfax estate. Ah, yes. We will send word there immediately as soon as we get any other further, uh, if we get any further reports. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to cruise these and look for any changes that we haven't seen. <clears throat> yes, sir. Thank you for checking in with us. Of course. Please keep us abreast of 
any de developments into your investigations. We are eager to see this resolved. You'll be the first to know. If there's anything we can do to further help you, just ask. Take my leave. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> the next, the next, I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night. Uh, the next session, we will uh, see what Amenius is up to. And then we will continue the investigation in the Artisan District. Um, however, real quick, you get to earn Artha for the game. So, I forget what that means in the Laws. So, uh, beliefs. Uh, driving the game forward with a belief. Did anybody feel that anybody drove the game forward with one of their beliefs? The game is only as good as the scale in which it's played. Uh, I mean, you you added intrigue yes, into the into the game. You added political intrigue into the game. Following your belief, so yes, that will earn one fate. Uh, did anybody play on an instinct that makes the character's life difficult? That is yeah. one fate. He did. Uh, invoking a trait that sends the story in an unforeseen direction. No one did that. Uh, humor. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> At one point or another. <laughs> like, like this, uh, specifically for an in-character game stopper. Uh, you can read. Oh yeah! Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, a point in which somebody in character <laughs> makes a comment that is funny Lost enough it. that causes the entire table to basically stop and laugh for a moment. You so Jeff, read. that's one fate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right skill, right time. Uh, Inconspicuous. Right. 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 Yes. right. Right. That's one fate. Uh, anybody else? Demonology. Uh, we all kind of yeah yeah, okay. yeah that was one fate for all three of you. Uh, for really good or distinctive role playing, most of this is you, the players, deciding together yeah. who if uh, this one. and it can be more than one person. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, I didn't get too much into it. Okay, one persona. <laughs> Uh, mold breaker for going beyond the bounds of the character. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I'm still getting like, into the character. Exactly. Like yeah. I still feel like we're all getting Same. into it. Workhorse uh, for doing all the work of the scenario or scene. I mean, Greg had his scene to himself, but like that was part of our scene. Yeah, as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. No one. Did. Yeah, everybody kind of worked no together, so nobody actually carried the group by themselves. It right. was all kind of communal, um, which is fine. Uh, MVP, most valuable player, for being the crucial element of success. Uh, this is actually one that would get rewarded every game. Mm -hmm. This is a player vote of who they thought was basically the MVP of the session, who they oh. thought basically contributed <clears throat> the most overall towards the success the party has gotten so far. Okay. Well, Kyle didn't <laughs> fail. <laughs> True. <laughs> He's the only one that didn't So like things to take into account. Like things to take things to take into account, like like uh, Kyle helped everybody get from point A to point B. Yep. Uh, B actually brought up uh, and was able to bring forth a lot of good research. Uh, yes. That everybody else failed on. Uh, Jeff is coming up with really good ideas on how to investigate and 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 how to piece together the clues. Um, Dennis is uh, actually utilizing a lot of the city, which is actually uh, bringing forth a more rich environment of the world for you all to play in. So I mean, this is again uh, player Greg. Did Gregosaurus Rex things? Yeah. <laughs> Greg failed at being a spell sword. Yeah. <laughs> I failed. 
I had it's two okay, exploding buddy. sixes um, and they both had turned into twos. It's I was okay, like, that's cool. Greg's yeah. character, by essence of being his character, has greatly cheapened the costs of this job. Mm. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, does so anybody have a nomination they would like to make for uh. who the MVP is? Probably Dennis. He, he drove the story a lot. Alright, so, yeah. Dennis? Everybody say hi. Hi. Yeah. All right. Dennis gets one persona. <laughs> Yay! Uh, did anybody get uh, steps towards personal goals, revenge, triumph, seduction, victory? Speaking of, I need yeah. another belief. Damn. Keep forgetting. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, There's a list. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, know. I, I mean, know. granted, not this session so much for personal goals because everybody's getting used to the yeah. character mm -hmm. and the world and the system. So. Uh, greater goals, accomplishing goals bigger than you. You're on the way towards it. Yeah, we're yeah, but not yeah. Nah, quick. Yeah. There's uh, no indication this is linking to anything big, so, right? Uh, Beyond the call, yeah. Yeah. helping no matter yes. the cost. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I've already written the story in my head. Uh oh. So, like, nah, this is awesome. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I got you, bro. No matter what the actual story is. Yeah, it's fine. This one's there's a fictitious version that's about to be written out as a report to the to the cast. Like, look at all this shit. Here's what actually happened. That's <laughs> not even remotely. Why were you smoking? <laughs> I want some. And when I talked to, talk to this person different. and they pointed me right to who I needed to go to. So now you all know how to earn Artha. Basically those things. Daddy. Spending Artha. Um, you can spend a fate for luck, which open in sixes on any roll. You can spend one fate for shrug it off, which temporarily negates plus one obstacle penalty of any source. So if you have like a plus two obstacle penalty and you spend one fate, it'll knock it down to one for that roll. That's cool. Um, for one persona, you can call on a boon, which adds plus one dice to a stat or skill for one test. Was that? No, that was me. Sorry. You can spend a maximum of three persona on one roll in this fashion. You can spend one for persona for focus, which is counter a time complication. Mm. Uh, one persona for grit your teeth, which temporarily negates uh, minus one die wound penalty. Uh, you can spend one one persona for will to live, which allows the player to test health so their character may recover from a mortal wound. Uh, you can spend one deeds for divine inspiration, which double dice for one test. You can spend one deed for saving grace, which is reroll failed dice from one test, which was used. Um, you can spend five, when you spend five fate, three persona, and one deed on any one skill or stat, um, it's called Aristia, and it moves it up to grayscale. Temporary. Temporarily. Temporary. Yeah. So Arist Aristia is five fate, three persona, one deed. And you get a gray skill or stat, or ignore wound penalties. Um, it on the character sheet, that's not for real. There's another one. It's going to be ten persona and twenty fate for a permanent shape shift. That's right. That yeah. thank and you. Expensive as shit. The thing about yeah, the it's it, no, shit. it's it's cumulative. Oh, for cumulative. Time. For so that one, it's anytime you spend an Artha point, whether it's a fate deed or. Uh, persona on any one skill, you do want to keep track of that because it doesn't matter what you actually used. If it was with that skill, it counts towards that. And as soon as you have spent that amount, yeah, on that skill, that's why it has the little skills thing. Oh, yeah, that's shit. why it has the circles for you to count your fate, uh, persona, and deeds mm -hmm. that you have used on that skill. Oh, I thought this had to be all at once. No, no, it's over time. 
which is why I made oh. sure B marked down the D she spent on yeah. Orly. Or okay. what? Me. You. That's yeah. really cool. My you. Right. Sorry. God. Hmm. God. Uh, yeah, it was me because it's like I, got, I had, uh, I think it was uh, I'm not a tall white guy. four successes and it was five. I shot these as like, how long is it? Oh, temporary shade shift. Uh, uh, one roll. Ooh. Scene? Mm -hmm. Scene? Do we want it to be a scene? Actually, for that price. I can't price, remember. Yeah, I think it was a scene, scene because it's a scene. price. I'm just going to say it's a scene for that price. That's not okay. cumulative, that's all at once. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That price. Yeah. For that price, it's all oh, at once, okay. and it's for the scene. Sense. So. But they do count towards your epiphany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. So. So this does count towards gray to, to white? Oh shit! <laughs> it is doubled if I remember the the cost. Yeah, for, what you need to go from fuck. black to gray. <laughs> okay, and then you double those requirements to go from gray to white. Oh, uh, okay. So to go from gray to white, it's sixty, twenty persona, forty fate. Yeah. Jesus uh -huh. Christ! That's crazy. Now the question is, Jesus does the biscuits. kind of epiphany from black to gray count as that epiphany? To gray to white. No, no, no. no, no once, no. once you get the epiphany, it those counts reset to zero. Okay. Same thing with tests. As soon as you get enough tests to go up an exponent, white you white. just you just erase all of the marks and start from zero okay. on all tests towards the next exponent again. Hmm. Yeah. Every time you advance, you wipe the slate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, journal. Unless you're doing a reverse DI. Uh, yes, I put up on there uh, on Obsidian Portal a guide to journal entries. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Make sure to read that. Make sure to read that, and I will refresh myself on what the fuck I said. Yo. Did I put it in an adventure path or adventure log itself? 